Hello, welcome to another Launchpad screencast. I'm Matthew Ravel, and today I'm going to be showing you some highlights from Launchpad 3.0, the new version that we've just released. Now, most of the uh, changes that you'll see in 3.0 are actually UI based, so we'll have a quick tour of that. Now, let's start off with the most important bit you. Well, in this case, actually, it's my colleague Danilo Shagan. There's his little face there. As you can see straight away, the UI, the, the layout is much clearer, there's much more visible at once. That participation uh, menu there is great because it shows you, it, it takes you directly to the the the, the, the listings of, of what that person has done in each part of Launchpad. Um, so you can see more or less the same information that you saw on the old profile page but it's just laid out much better so there you can see the things that are signed to Dinalo, you can see uh, what teams is a member in, what, is, what projects is most active in. Um, so that's great. Now, let's have a look at one of the other important pages, a project page. This is Inkscape. Again, as you can see, the, 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 the use of the screen is much more efficient. One of the things I love is you can very clearly see if the project's got files to download. Um, there's the latest version displayed there, we can go to the, the, the uh, all downloads. There, the get involved, it's very much like the participation uh, menu on the person page so you can see how the project uses Launchpad and how you can get in to use it. And then the series of milestones uh, line there is probably something that's quite familiar to you already and they have latest bugs reported like latest questions all that sort of stuff um, again much better presentation on screen so it's much easier to get a feel for what the what the project's doing in launchpad um, okay so the bug page is one of my favorite changes in launchpad 3.0 editing bugs now is so so much quicker look it's all in line now you might have seen some of this already but um, Launchpad 3.0 brings it all together. So I can now easily change the, uh, the, the, the subject, the title for this bug, or I can just change my mind. Oh, there, there's the original one back. But no, okay, I will, I'll go ahead and I'll change it. So what I can do is, without having to reload the page, without having to wait for all that traffic to go backwards and forwards, instead, I'm just doing it using the JavaScript widget here, and, there we go. The title of the bug is updated similarly. Look, I can target it to a different milestone, but I don't have to type in the guess milestone. It gives me all the active future milestones for that project. Excellent. I can then change the status if I want to. Beautiful. I'll leave it as it is though, because it's still just triaged. And I can. I can change the bug description similarly as easy and quickly as uh, I could the title. Um, it's got a, a little expandable JavaScript text box there, or the text box that uh, updates through Ajax. So there you go. I want to add a little bit of more information to that description. And again, I don't have to wait for any page refreshes. All it does is transfer the necessary information. There you go. It's done. Great. Uh, so, yeah, I can look. There's so much on this page that I can now edit without having to do anything other than, well, just just basically dealing with that one bit of information. Wonderful, so quick, so easy, and you'll see more and more of this throughout the Launchpad UI. I know that on the blog before we've gone on and on about the Ajaxification of Launchpad, but this, to me, this bugs page really sums it up. Ah, translations dashboards, another great part of Launchpad. This is something that the translations team and Martin Albacetti and I discussed in Argentina back in February, and it, it, it basically gives you, as an individual, an overview of your translations activity in Launchpad. It's superb. So I can see there. Um, a trans translations that I need to review perhaps or there's here's, here are some projects where they need translations in the language that I've said that I, I speak which is a bit of a cheat because it's English GB sorry to all the English UK uh, translators out there but look so I can go ahead I'm, I've never used Mudlet never translated for it before I think maybe I have translated for it before but um, it's not something that I would probably go back unless Launchpad had triggered it so it's great for the projects it's great for me as a translator it's great for the language that I'm working in so there you go. I've made a little. I've made a translation there. Now I'll just go back. Ah, oh, well look. Uh, I'll go back to my 
um, my translations work in Launchpad. I could have used the breadcrumb there. I took it the uh, the new breadcrumb, which I'll, I'll show you in a minute. So there you go. There's the little translation I made in Mudlet 17 seconds ago. And there are the translations groups listed at the bottom. I could also look at my import queue. I don't have anything in it at the moment, but uh, here I'll show you the breadcrumb. It's a good excuse. There you go. The, the breadcrumb's really cool as well. So you just click on translations and there I am back to my translations dashboard. Licensing, we require that all translations you make in Launchpad are BSD licensed. So I don't want to change that, I am happy to license them under that, but it's something you can change there. So, there'll be more of this in Launchpad as well. Thanks very much for watching, 3.0 is now available at launchpad.net. Any questions, uh, post a comment here or go to hash launchpad on Freenode.